a pleasant day everyone. I am Dante Jr. D. Sabanal, together with my co-researchers Justin De Hoya, Justin Magala, and Anthony Alliot, and we are here to present you our quantitative research with the title Arduino-based game, Isense, for people with visual impairment. Research gap. Visually impaired persons are bound to bear difficulties in life. According to Slade et al. 2021, about 250 million faces challenges because of their impaired vision. This condition affects their many aspects of their lives, including independence and mental and physical health. Most especially is their navigating in and outside the house. Because of their vision impairment, navigating through different routes, especially unfamiliar ones, is hard for them. The problem of guiding visually impaired people then led to the invention of walking aids or canes, which because the widely used mobility aid in the daily lives of the blind. The common term for this walking aid is pat pat, which blind people use as their daily guides. Over the years, various navigation devices capable of assisting visually impaired, impaired people have been developed to help them through their everyday tasks, especially in guiding them to move indoor and outdoors. However, they are vulnerable to car accidents when crossing the roads as they are not aware of their surroundings because of the fewer visual clues to alert them in incoming potential hazards and may be unfamiliar with the roads they are navigating through. As stated by Ace Saitis and Calimary 2016 as cited in Gero's chat and Smith and Quinnis et al. 2011, mobility challenge can be summarized into four main issues. Avoiding objects or barriers such as pedestrian, tree branches, or incorrect park cars. Recognizing ground levels, changes such as stairs, pavements, edge, or inflation. Managing street crossings such as lack of curbs, traffic signals, or sound signaling. And adapting to the life variation. Therefore, Bruns and her 2021 quoted in their research study that one of the most three common life events in visually impaired population is traffic accident. 23% resulting in injuries. Many studies prove that system-based using Arduino is a great example of navigating assist, nav navigation assisting device that can detect things that can help a visually impaired person traveling alone in unfamiliar areas by receiving inputs from uh, obstacle sensors, ultrasonic sensors, and giving the, the user feedback through haptics, a vibration, motor, or a buzzing sound. Supported by Swale 2016 and Kim and Emerson 2012, where they both created a system-based skin using Arduino with multiple sensors and components to construct an efficient base skin. However, most of the de devices mentioned are composed of complex and multiple systems which can provide confusion for the visual impaired person and may result in discomfort. Additionally, none of it are foldable which can help visually impaired, impaired people in storing the cane when not in use. So that is why the researcher came up with the proposed solution because they found a possibility of providing a co-efficient and simple Arduino-based walking aid. The researchers thought of a solution that would not just be an efficient and effective cane but will also a cheaper, foldable, simple and can detect obstacles and wet surface like potholes and water puddles in front of them which can be easily accessed by a switch. The researchers developed this idea the Arduino based cane with the name of Isense of the benefits for visually Imp visually impaired people to better navigate or travel outside their house. This study hopes to show the efficiency of the Arduino-based cane ISENSE as an alternative navigation assisting device by conducting, conducting trials and tests. Now, let's proceed to the purpose of the study to be led by Justin B. Magala. Here's the purposes of the study. 
First is to develop a foldable system-based navigational device called iSense using the Arduino IDE to help people with visual impairment navigate through their daily lives. Second is to test the efficacy, durability, and overall feasibility of the Arduino-based cane or iSense as a more preferable cane for the people that are visually impaired. Lastly, to contribute to the continuous study of the development of a more advanced system-based cane to increase and improve its capabilities and features, as well as making it more accessible for the visually impaired. Next is the statement of the problem led to you by Elliot. Next is the statement of the problem led to you by Anthony Elliot. Statement of the problem. This study is conducted to see if the Adriano base cane will become an effective and efficient navigational aid for visual challenge people. In more details, it's aimed to respond to the following questions. 1. How does the Adriano base system affect the length of walking of person with visual impairment compared to a regular walking stick in terms of A. Time and B. Consistency. 2. How does the foldable aspect of Arduino base cane affect its efficiency and durability? 3. How long does the Arduino base cane battery supply last when detecting A. Both obstacles and water accumulated areas? B. Only obstacles and C. Only water accumulated areas? Now, to answer all of these questions, we will proceed to the data presentation. To answer research question number one, which is the effect of Arduino based system to the length of a rock person with visually impaired compared to a regular walking stick in terms of time and consistency. Here is the table number one, which is the time measurement of length of walking using Arduino based system and a regular walking. Table 1 shows the time in seconds it took for both test subject A and test subject B to complete the same 5 meter simulation space. can be seen in figure 4. In three different trials while blindfolded, test subject A and test subject B are also setups used to answer research, research question 1.B, which is all about the cons consistency. Using the time it took to complete the simulation space on the three trials conducted on both test subjects, the researchers computed the average time by apply, simply, simply adding up all the time measurements and dividing it by the total number of trials in both test subjects. Based on the table 1, the time varies on all of the three trials on both test subject A and test subject B where the three trials in test subject B took a longer time compared to the three trials in test, test subject A. The trial in test subject A took a less than a minute 60 seconds to complete the course, while the trials in test subject B took a greatly more than a minute to complete the same course. It took an average of 39.5 seconds for the test subject A to navigate the simulation space while using the Arduino based game. In the contrary, to set test subject B, 96.26 seconds average while using using the traditional cane navigating through the same simulation space. The high difference between the two is clear evidence on the effectiveness of Arduino based cane when using when used in everyday life. Now let's proceed to the table two to be led by Magala. To answer again the research question number one in terms of consistency, here is table number two, which is the independent TITAS table of time measurement of length of walk using Arduino based system and a regular walking stick. Table number two shows the results of the independent TITAS for the data gathered on the time measurement of the length of the walk using the Arduino based system and the regular stick. Based on the table above, the calculated T critical value, which is C, is 2.132. And the T statistic value, which is T, 
is negative 6.58. The data above indicates that the T statistic value is greater than the T critical value. Hence, the null hypothesis which states that the consistency between the two test subjects is the same must be rejected. And the alternative hypothesis that states that the that the consistency between the two test subjects is not the same, must be accepted. With the rejection of the null hypothesis on the independent t-tests done by the researchers, it can be concluded that the consistency of the Arduino-based kink is a lot better than the consistency of the traditional kink when it comes to navigation. Next is the table number 3, led to you by Dante Sabonat. To answer research question number two, which is the effect of the foldable aspect of the Arduino-based game on its efficiency and durability, we have table three and four. First is the table three, which is the Arduino-based game time measurement after the five by five folds, which is the five, 10, 15, 20, and 25. Table three reveals the overall statistics of the Arduino-based game time measurement after the five by five folds, which is five, 10, 15, 20, and 25. The mean, the total number of trials, the total number of the by five folds in each trial, the total number of by five folds, the sum of all by five folds in the study, and the total for each trial were all included in the table. Using the formula sum of squares is equal to the summation of x squared minus quantity summation of x squared all over n, the sum of squares in each treatment in the last row is calculated. Next is table 4, which is the ANOVA table of Arduino-based game time measurement after the by 5 folds, which is the 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. Table 4 shows that the ANOVA test on the data of the effects of folding the Arduino-based game. The data included on the table explains whether the cane wears down as the number of folds increases. As shown in the table, the F critical value is 3.89 and the computed F statistic value is 0.2914. This data indicates that the F statistic value is greater than the F critical value. Hence, the null hypothesis must be accepted and the alternative hypothesis must be rejected. This means that the folding the cane does not have a significant effect on the cane's efficacy and durability on guiding the visually impaired. The researchers included the computed sum of squares, the, de the degrees of freedom, and the mean square within groups based on the data in Table 3. Now, let us proceed on answering research question number 3 to be led by Anthony Elliot. And lastly, to answer the research question number 3, which is the length of time of the Arduino base game, water supply power when detecting both obstacles and water. Obstacles only and water only. The table number 5 shows the time of the battery power of the Arduino base game last when detecting both, both of the obstacles and water detecting obstacles only and detecting water only based on the table only detecting water only has record where the cane lasts 2 hours and 15 minutes before the battery runs out of energy now we will proceed to the conclusions conclusion vision impairment is a condition when a person eyesight loses visual activity ranging for a pure eyesight to a total blindness globally at least 2.2 billion people have near or distant vision, vision impairment and to 72,527 the recorded Filipinos are visually impaired based on the 2022 last census. The main everyday issue of visual impaired people is the navigating in and outside the house where more than the traditional cane is needed to support them especially when navigating a busy street as they are unaware of their surroundings. Applying an, a quantitative research approach, the research established an input regarding Arduino base cane as a low cost and efficient navigation assisting device for person with visual impaired. The researchers concluded test and measured the research results of the Arduino base cane to provide efficient and accurate data. The test done by the researchers showed that the Arduino Base King is an efficient tool for a navigation device as compared to an ordinary king. 
Furthermore, it was evident that the foldable aspect of the cane does not affect its efficiency and durability, especially for the wires that will be will bend together with the cane. Although the researchers were not able to complete the last test that will show how long the battery power of the cane will last given a specific situation. It is still evident based on the date data recorded that the cane batteries last for an extended amount of time. The result of the studies obtained by the researchers were supported by the research done by Bermudo et al. 2020 entitled Developing, Developing an Assistive Device for Visually Impaired Using Ultrasonic Sensors for Visual Distance and solid Solidity Determinations. In this research by Bermudo et al., it was stated in their findings that those who use the prototype, which is assistive device with ultrasonic sensors, completed the course faster than and with lower collision frequency, in comparison to those who use traditional walking sticks. Therefore, it can be said that the prototype successfully alerted users to them in Pediments so they could avoid them and successfully reroute. Now, let's proceed to the recommendation to be led by Dante Sabanal. Recommendations This study would recommend future researchers to install a rechargeable battery for a better power status. Improve the current design of the Arduino-based cane by incorporating the wirings inside the cane to avoid being damaged and the PVC pipe be replaced with steel to be more durable. The researchers would recommend adding additional ultrasonic sensors to detect obstacles in all directions and use smaller versions of the same components, if available, for last weight of the cane. Furthermore, since the researchers were not able to finish the last test due to limited time and resources, the researchers recommend additional and more in-depth in testing of the product should also be conducted to determine not only the capacity and range of the Arduino-based cane, but also its efe efficiency in, in and outside the house, extraneous variables such as weather, comfortability on its users, and other factors related to Arduino-based cane. Now, here are the video recordings that shows the some tests conducted in the study. Oh, oh, Nice one, Dena. Nice one. 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 Nice Ay, galing. Ganun wala eh. Ay, galing. Ganun wala eh. Look. <laughs> 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 Ay, stop na!